180 newsletter onboarding. I use an automation sequence and it consists of five emails and I'm just going to tell you how I do it. <clears throat> After people join my newsletter by getting a free book through book funnel, you can also do it through story of origin and they come over that email then gets fleeted over to my my newsletter provider, which I use SendFox. I bought the uh, 53,000 lifetime names. I'm currently sitting at about 20,000 on the list. So I've got 23,000, 33,000 to, to go to max out. So keep adding people. They get that, they get that free book, full length book from book funnel and it sends their email over to SendFox and they instantly go to that first email in my automation sequence. What's that first email look like? It's a welcome. Hey, welcome to my newsletter. Thank, I'm Craig Martell. I write science fiction. I write thrillers. Uh, remind them how they got there. This is important. <clears throat> so they don't instantly say spam. Oh my God, spam. You guys are horrible. And that if, if you get too many spam complaints, uh, sometimes your newsletter provider will shut you down and other times it affects your deliverability. So you want to get this under control. So remind them how they got there. Hey, you downloaded the human experiment. I hope you liked it. Uh, life is good here. As a matter of fact, have another free short story this time. And here it is. And then the second book, the second email, which comes three days later. So one, they get their free book and instantly go in and in an Im immediately within a day, they'll get that next newsletter saying, welcome aboard. And here's, here's another free uh, short story. The second newsletter comes three days later. I personalize it. Here's me, picture of my dog. <clears throat> another free short story. Thank you. Downloadable from BF and then more about me. I'm retired. I write science fiction. I'm hanging out in Alaska. Hey, have you ever met, met an Alaskan? Now you, now you have. So make that personal hook, make an attachment. And I think I have a picture of the Northern Lights that my wife has uh, took from our driveway. So I use those a lot because that creates that link. Hey, I know a dude from Alaska. He writes books. Uh, maybe give it a look. The third one, another free short story, a little more about me, talk about some sci-fi. Oh man, I prefer Star Trek to Star Wars, but I don't hold it against people who like Star Wars because you don't want to alienate your audience. Uh, so what if people watch uh, Star Wars and like Star Wars and read my books? Thank you for reading my books. That's, that's a bottom line. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Next one, fourth book, another three days, three days between these ones. So over 12 days, because the first one happens instantly, three days later, second, three days later, three days, three days. And then after 12 days, so in less than two weeks, I've sent five emails and they're on my regular list, which I send every Monday. So depending when they joined, they might get uh, uh, six emails then over the course of two weeks, but then it's weekly and they need to get uh, used to that regularity. <clears throat> So the fourth one, I sent another free short story plus an audiobook. And this audiobook, in order to get it, they got to sign up to a new list. And that's my audio list, separate, unique. I know you could parse it with a with a, a checkbox or some other way, but I do the, the old manual method. Hey, sign up again if you really, because that way I can be sure, very sure that this is why they want to, that they're here to get audiobooks. I've only sent two newsletters out in a year and a half to that list. So I probably, I need to do better on that. Uh, and that's be a book funnel, a free audiobook. It's 90 minutes. And pretty soon I'm putting up a book uniquely and specifically on book funnel. Cool, huh? Uh, so, uh, and that'll be a paid book via book funnel. Book funnel's app and audio works great. So uh, we're going to do it this way and see how that works. And then the fifth email is a final free short story plus a, hey, oh, by the way, uh, they're going to cost money from now on because I make my living doing this. And to make a living, you need to sell something. And here, here's a starter library that you can get at a discount. Thank you. Uh, consider buying it and taking a look at uh, three of my series. I have two different starter library uh, setups going. One is three books and another one is seven books, all first in series. So it's, a, it's an opportunity for them to buy a book cheap, have a number of them, and then find which series they like. And then they can go from there. And then at that point, the email address moves over to my main list. And then they'll start getting emails every Monday from me with hope, hopefully uh, catchy taglines, subject lines, that then they go into the email, read some more, get pictures of the Northern Lights, and uh, scroll down and see some other stuff I have for sale and what I've got going on. All right. That's how I do it. 
<clears throat> and it has been very effective. I'm about, about 80%. So people who start the list to people who end, about 80%, four out of every five, end up on my main list after going into that automation sequence. So it is, uh, it's effective for me. All right, everybody, you have a great day. Peace, fellow humans.